Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Beyond Oasis. When we last left off, we uh, had just found this uh, this water shrine here, uh, sort of toward the northern end of the uh, the lower part of the map, I guess. Um, and we're about to jump in, so uh, let's go ahead and do so. Now this is actually a... Uh, oh man, we're getting towed up by these bats though. Um, I'm not really sure how to... Oh, there we go, okay. <laughs> I was wondering if we had to do, like, a special slash on them. But, uh... Yeah, we, uh, we got in here with, with Ditto, the water spirit. And I'm uh, not sure... Um, I think, I think we're looking for another spirit at this point, actually, is what we're here for. Just killing these fish to see if they'll, uh, they'll give us any actual fish to eat, but it doesn't look like that's the case. That's okay. These bats, I feel like, like I want to do a jump kick or something to, uh, to actually try to hit them, but maybe not, I don't know. Not sure what the most effective way here is. There we go, we got, uh, we got that one. It's always the bats, man. The bats are always the worst. There we go. I mean, when was the last time you got to, to jump kick a, uh, a bat anyway? That's incredible. These guys, probably, probably easiest with the, uh, the crouch attack. Maybe not. Might be able to, oh, jeez. Yeah, I think one of those is pretty good. Actually, I wanna, I wanna say that we can actually, uh... Yeah, if we just do this charge-up attack, we can actually hit him pretty regularly, I think. But, um... Not 100% sure about that. This guy's just hopping all over the place. You gotta stop that, man. No more. No moss. Do not want. So another one down here. I'm gonna kill all these guys just, uh, on the off chance that they drop a, uh... They drop uh, a key for us or something, you know? We never, just never know. There we go. This guy's a little bit tougher than his brethren, it seems like. There we go. Okay, well, we got a snake pit down there. Why did it have to be snakes? Uh, which we can actually quite easily get to, it would seem. Ooh, hmm. I think we can just uh, crawl underneath this, though. Yeah, there we go. Using our brains. Uh, we will take this key. And we can, of course, just wait for that fire to go away as well. Top down, and uh, I guess we'll check out the snake pit real quick. Oh, there was a guy who was about to spawn there. Looked like a, like a zombie critter of some kind. Now, I don't know if these bats can hit us when we're crouched like this. <laughs> Come to think of it. Might be a limitation of their, uh, their creature type here. See, like, these guys, man, I'm having a really hard time hitting this guy. There we go. So we'll take this, this is going to be a little S extra SP for us. And we got a water gem too, which is pretty uh, unexpected, honestly, but I'll take it. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, moving right along. So yeah, we got these guys now, some kind of like skinny zombie dudes. Well, he's going to keep respawning or what his deal is actually. Oh, careful. <laughs> is there anything over here that we actually want to pick up? Ah, it looks like maybe we have to go this way. There we go. I'm trying to do the, uh, the jump attack, but I'm a little bit stuck in the corner right now. We're gonna want to heal up when we get the opportunity, it looks like. <laughs> I'm not sure how much damage that fire does either, so we need to be cautious. Alright, so let's hop up here real quick, though. Oh, there's another one. Sneaky snake. Well, I guess the sneaky snakes were actually down south there, but that's fine. And we got uh, we got an apple here. So a lot of uh, I think a lot of SP restoring items uh, we're getting at the moment. Perhaps a, uh, a hint. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, that apple started to disappear. So things can um, if you're not if you're not swift, things can kind of uh, kind of uh, disappear on you now. Interestingly enough. Uh, you can also see we got a little bit of environmental interaction there, which is pretty cool. Take that fish. Uh, and that's how we get back out, I think. Actually, can we, uh... No, we can't. Well, can, can we not? Seems like there's something there that we can... Oh, shit, yeah! We can, uh, if we hit that enough times, we get to come in here and we get ourselves a, uh... A handy-dandy whatever this is, a bow of some kind. Um... Oh my god, a 100-shot bow? That's incredible, dude. We should probably use these bows uh, mm -hmm. as well, but uh, mm -hmm. if we don't see water in the next room, I'm gonna use that opportunity or take that as a, uh, a hint that we should 
probably heal ourselves with one of our food items here, because we're pretty low. Took a lot of damage getting down here. Now, I'm assuming those four other zombies are probably going to pop back up here, but if we're quick enough, we can probably just... Um, just get out of here. <laughs> like that. That'll be just fine. Oh, okay, big boy. Luckily, this one guy does not seem too bad. Oh, jeez. Spoke too soon, I guess. Okay, he's been sorted. And we have a key. Now, there's some kind of something going on with this, uh, this ball here, so... Um... Yeah, let's, uh... We got a ton of cheese, so why don't we eat a couple cheeses? Uh... Well, actually, I think the one cheese is actually probably good enough. Let's think about this. Probably... Yeah, we probably want to... Roll this up like this. Aha! And there's a pressure plate up here. So you can see the puzzle elements in this game. Kind of, um... Definitely similar. Kind of, uh... Legend of zelda E kind of feel. Although I would say this game is fairly distinct in general, um, but, uh, hey, you can see there's actually this fire door and we can't get through, unless we can, in which case, uh, we should do that. <laughs> um, alright, so how, I forget, how do I, how do I work this girl? There we go. Now I think, if we do that, she'll just go away, but I also think that, uh, probably want to go this way. I think this, uh, this thing's making that, that steam go. But I want to say... <laughs> well, maybe not, I was, I was gonna say, I want to say she, um... We can get our SP back somehow. Might be, is it by fighting? I'm not sure. I thought, it, I thought there was a way for us to get it back. Oh, check that out. That's, uh, I think our first rank up, actually. Just kind of at random there. That's how, uh, rank ups work in this game. We've got a little bit of mushroom. Mushroom! Um, that guy just got toasted. There we go. Um, all right, yeah. Let me uh, let me take a look at what we got here. So we've got this. So this is max SP. This is HP and SP. That's actually pretty uh, interesting. And these are SP plus one half. And that's one quarter. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think what we probably do here. Let's uh, let's use that. I guess uh, maybe our stuff doesn't regen in this area. That is entirely possible. Uh, maybe just, you know, it only regens outside. I probably should have expected as much. <laughs> uh, now that heart we picked up, I will, uh... Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see, where's our status screen here? Yeah, you can see we're ranked two now. We have 202 hit points, I think, instead of 200. Um, basically, we, uh, we are very slightly stronger. Now, SP, I don't know. I want to say SP is strictly based... Well, and this is complete speculation because it's been so long, but, uh... Um, or maybe more of an educated guess, but I want to say we probably started with 100 SP, and since we have two gems, it's, uh, and we're at 110, maybe... Our SP situation is, uh, something to the tune of plus 5 SP per gem we pick up, regardless of... Who we, uh... Who we, um... Pick it up four. All right. Would like it if she could. Uh, hang on. Let me uh. Let's use uh one of these guys. Just quite trying to see if she can like hit this thing. Doesn't seem like it though. So I'm just gonna send her away. Oh, there's piranha in here too. Actually, I <laughs> didn't know that. Aha! We've tricked you, piranha. <laughs> Who's the meal now? I was wondering if we could get her to, like, put this fire guy out, because that would be extremely convenient, <laughs> but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Get some more grapes here. That's actually really good. And we got pressure plates, but it doesn't seem like there's any way to... to do anything with them. Um, simultaneously, anyway. We'll definitely take that. Uh, and actually, let's check our theory. Yep, 115 mm -hmm. SP. Very nice. Now then, um, as far as these fish are concerned, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna... So that opens the door. Ah, and that drops the ball. Okay, this fire has gotta go. Get out of here. Um, alright, these fish are far enough away from us. We should be okay. 
Hua! Good stuff. Is there anything... Oh, yeah, that's what happens when you uh, run into fire. Oh, geez, he actually chased me down there a little bit as well. Uh, I was just going to look to see if there was like a secret door or something that I missed, but I guess not. All right, this sounds like boss music. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's so fast. And he makes uh, fire, guys. Okay, uh, let's... Items... Uh, no, not items. Let's equip one of these bows, these five-shotters, because I don't think they're doing us a whole hell of a lot of good here. So we might as well... relieve ourselves of uh, a little bit of heartache here, and, um... <laughs> plink this guy to death. Alright, and we got one more of these. Um, yeah, not gonna use the hundred-shotter. Might, we, we'll probably switch to the sword after. Actually, I wonder, can we shoot these these fires at all, or... It really seems like we can't. Hmm... Where'd he go? Yeah, it doesn't look... doesn't look like these fires wanna... Oh, we can hit the fires, okay. This is... very dangerous game that we're playing here. <laughs> Trying to swing, uh, our weapon at fires. Alright, um... Whoop! <laughs> That's how you put something down, apparently, accidentally, in the middle of a battle. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh... Actually, I guess we better use... a little something here. We'll use another one of our cheeses, because they're extremely easy to come by anyway. Go! Oh, and we actually got, uh, an apple right there. Probably gonna re regret standing here, but, um... Ooh, he's got, uh, he's got a hand... getting a little handsy there. Very well. Seems like we can actually hit the hands, too. Um, which is interesting. We go, get a little bit more, uh... A little bit more food here. There we go, I think if we... Get right here, we'll be in good shape. Well, I think we might have just fallen there, uh, sort of at random. Let's see if we can get Ditto out, um... To help us out a little bit here, maybe. Now, if we use... This guy... Uh, we should be able to do some kind of an AoE attack, right? Yeah, check that out. Pretty good. Can't complain. Uh, and then she can maybe heal us a little bit. No, I guess she's, she's pretty much done. All right. Thank you, Ditto. I appreciate that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else in this boss arena out here. Does not appear to be the case. I'm not sure what these little glowy deals are, either. He's like, things that we can pick up at all, or is it just for show? I guess it's just for show. Very well, let's see what's, uh, behind door number whatever. Ah, and we get our, actually, we get our MP back here, so I guess we better go back and get Ditto. Um, actually, maybe we just have to shoot this one. Yeah, okay, my mistake. Ah, and look at what we have here. I'm guessing there's gonna be a fire spirit nearby. <laughs> let's take a look, shall we? Ifrit is my name. I am fire, which burns away anything unclean. The gold armlet is my master. He found Ifrid, a spirit of fire, who had been sleeping in the waterfall shrine, somewhat ironically. Instructions. Flame breath. Tap button A to create a stream of fiery breath. Fireball attack. Tap A button twice to turn Ifrit into a fireball and melt bomber. Hold down the button uh, to cause a fire inundation. Oof. Alrighty. Well, uh, I think we'll probably go ahead and just unsummon him for a minute. <laughs> uh, and let's get Ditto out. Because she can heal us full free. Basically. And yes, okay, so we're running around the world, our, our SP regens pretty rapidly, actually, which is nice. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this episode. We have ourselves a new, uh, fiery friend, and I think we know at least one or two places where we can, uh, put him to, uh, to use. So, uh, until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.